arriving at Harambe's Palace, <laughs> otherwise known as the Shark Tank. Otherwise known as Jungle Gems. <laughs> so uh, this is the, I oh, I the back side, so we'll go around. Oh, so much exciting, so many Let me turn this around so you can... So. What is this? Like some sort of train? Amusement train. Oh, it goes around the whole... Yeah, so we'll go into the liquor entrance this time. We won't be going on the Harambe side. Fun fact, the year that Scott came to America to marry me was the summer that Harambe got shot. It's more of a joke. It's a meme. It's a meme. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the local grocery store that uh, we go to that's locally owned, uh, has a really fun history, and actually they, um, during the mask mandate stuff, they were very kind and never, Look, no one, a rhino. <laughs> no one ever rhino. said anything. Show the rhino. Show the rhino. Oh. Yep, show the man. <laughs> Anyways, they never made us wear masks, and uh, they even were very helpful to us not wearing a mask. They even met a Congolese gentleman. And so, we like this place, and uh, if we can't order it from Azure, or if we need it, like, now, which is what we do, we need stuff for Christmas cooking, this is where we come, and... And we'll show you the shark tank. It's really fun. So they actually have an international section, which is really cool. Uh, they have like a whole section of South African stuff. So we get Scott's rusks here that you can only get in South Africa. We went to the coffee shop before we came here in hopes to upload a YouTube video because our Wi-Fi at home is so slow. Um, however, <laughs> the coffee shop's Wi-Fi was even slower. Slow. We went to a one that uh, we haven't gone to to upload before, but it's in like a city. So we were like, surely the Wi-Fi is fine. It wasn't. There's only one coffee shop around us that we found that has good uploading. And we didn't choose that one. There's the famous bathrooms. It uh, fooled me the first time. So we have no sharks here today, but look at all these cuttlefish, some octopus, some squid. And then look at these bad boys. It's a very small little tuna. Barracuda in the back. I have no idea what anything else is, but there it is. Amazing. No sharks. Mario biscuits. How do you say that? Uma. Uma very, rest. Very cute. Scott's favorite. Do you want some? Do you want to get something? Sliced ones. This is my favorite South African candy bar. Bubbly. It's bar, delicious. Bar one is pretty good. That is really good. Actually, oh, crunchies I liked too. Crunchy. Even though it gets stuck all in your teeth. Peppermint crisp. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, this is actually my favorite. Although the first time I went to South Africa by myself, this was the chocolate I got all the time because it was the healthiest one they had. Also the cheapest out of all the bars. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that may have been. That's how I know about it. <laughs> uh, oh, you like the tennis biscuits. This is Scott's dad's favorite. Um, oh, and then Romani creams were my other favorite the first time I went. So delicious. Cavitas, when we would eat our yes, crackers. Yes, mussels, that's really good. You like Milo as well. Um, this is fun. Safari tea, that's like, I've never even seen that in South Africa. Yeah, I've never seen is that. Is that just a touristy thing? Probably tourist. Oh, and then this, the first time I was in South Africa, I lived on this stuff. Grenadillas are my absolute favorite eating fresh in South Africa. This would not be the same, but it's cool, they have it. Tomato sauce, it's different from ketchup. Better. <laughs> you like it better. Oh no. And chutney. Good old Mrs. Balls. 
your mom's favorite restaurant? Yeah. Okay. That's it for South Africa. We got our milk and cream. So once a week we have a milk drop off and they were the first raw milk share that we found and then since then we've met the Amish folk that go to one of the auctions that we go to and uh, so they come twice a month and um, so we get milk from them as well and their butter is quite a bit uh, cheaper so we get a pound of butter for eight dollars from the Amish and then their milk do you remember how much the milk is? I don't remember how much the milk is, but um, we usually get half gallons from the Amish, so that way we can uh, freeze them. Because <laughs> at Free Art, we've noticed that the raw milk freezes really well. I've heard some people like not like the taste of it, but I don't know if that depends on the type of cow, uh, but the type we get from the Amish is wonderful. So we got six half gallons from them, and then it was so cute yesterday he had um, little samples of cream cheese and was like, my wife made this cream cheese. Would you like to try some to like take home with us? And I was like, wait, do you have like actual full size things of cream cheese? Cause I needed cream cheese. And, uh, he was like, yes, $3. So that was exciting. And it is delicious. Both of our, uh, raw milks are A2, A2 cows. So, uh, we've kept our share just for the consistency of it because sometimes the Amish aren't totally reliable. <laughs> it's been such a blessing to have multiple options, sources. sources of places to get our raw milk from. Here's our small group of things that we got. I got some uh, wild salmon, the little slices. So, we'll have this um, with the Amish cream cheese, which was, uh, we got yesterday. And I just thought that that sounded so good. Uh, so I got the salmon and then as we were leaving, I saw this and, uh, I think we're going to have this, um, for lunch is just a little side snack, put some cream cheese on this as well, roll it up and it'll be like a salami roll up type thing. And then we need more onions. I got sour cream. Um, and then this was one of the main things on our list. Um, this is a, I wanted to get more red wine. One is for um, some recipes I looked up call for red wine. And then also I would like to start doing feasts on our Saturday nights and just having a small little glass of wine with it as a fun little treat. And so this is the first one we found, and uh, Scott has had this in South Africa. It's a South African wine. Is that right? It's a South African wine? Yeah. And so we got this one, and then this one is an organic wine, which is what I really wanted, and it was on sale for only $10, uh, made from organic grapes in Spain. So got those two, and then uh, Scott got a box of rusks, sweet potatoes, oranges to make the orange garland uh, slices, and obviously we'll eat some too. It was just a better deal to buy the bag rather than the individual ones. And then apples, bananas, and tissues. And I think that's it. We also, Scott, uh, with the alcohol purchase, which I don't know where that bag is, but uh, I got some organic vodka for making more tinctures and I'll probably make some more vanilla. And then Scott got some uh, whiskey that he likes as a treat. So that is all that we got from our Jungle Gems trip.